Hey there, friends. I hope that you are having an excellent day. I'm working with the Take 5 Art Challenge from the wonderful Leanne over at Creatively Free To Be Me. These are Leanne's prompts this week. Uh, there is a group of ladies who each month do the Take 5 Art Challenge. And it, I love it because it's five things. And then that way you can... You can Put out your five things and you don't have to think about anything else except for the five things that you have on your desk. So I have uh, the April challenge was to use blue green shade, uh, some ink, layers, white pen, and something recycled. For my recycled element, I am using a postcard that I picked up in Venice. Um, this was an okay card, uh, but a lot of it's written in English, and so I thought this would make a really nice recycled part of the challenge. I wanted to just kind of show you a sample of things you can pick up in Venice or Italy in general, and this was my whole problem. This is why I was leaving clothes in each city we visited so I could... <laughs> So I could bring home paper. Um, this was this is from a church, and uh, you know Venice is just chock full of churches. Uh, they're just incredible places to walk into. Five minutes from our hotel, there was a Michelangelo in a church that we did not know about until my sister talked to one of her friends on Facebook, and then we realized that, you know, within five minutes, there was a Michelangelo statue down there. So we did, we went to that church. Anytime we passed a church, we went in. They are just remarkable. Um, but this is just like an, an example of what you can pick up. So you guys can totally understand my problem. Look at that. Uh, it is just, you know, all the imagery is exceptional. Um, everything that you pick up is just beautiful, as is so much about Italy. I, uh, the first thing that I want to do with this postcard is to, of course, change the color of it. I also, I've made two of these. I recorded a video for this one last night, but it did not record the way it was supposed to because I kept mixing up the pause button and the um, and the start button. Yeah, I'm a little out of it, so um, I'm gonna you know this is our second try here. So let's see if we can't get this uh, this <laughs> videoed in honor of all those ladies who do the Take Five Art Challenge and put it out there for us. I need this postcard that I'm working with to be the same size that this one was. So first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of trim it up, easy peasy, no big whoop there. I'm just going to kind of trim the bottom off of it and hope that I got it fairly straight. My idea is to put these um, in my travel journal that I did not get to work on when we were gone because we were so busy um, and turn them into journaling cards. So even on the back of these, I want to put some lined paper and just um, make them into journaling cards. So my... Uh, my attempt to video this one did not go like it was supposed to. And I got to tell you guys that our trip did not start out <laughs> the way it was supposed to. Um, we were supposed to leave Atlanta and go to JFK and catch a plane to Milan. Milan was the first stop on our little Italy tour. But when we got to the airport in Atlanta, uh, we checked in at the Delta desk, and the agent said that our flight um, to JFK had been delayed. And the reason it was delayed was just because of weather. You know, the weather had not been good in Atlanta that day. Indeed, not you know had not been good all the way up the East Coast. So we did not get to get on our flight um, to go to JFK to go to Milan. 
Um, I have to send some kudos out to uh, Delta because they were very helpful and super patient. My brother-in-law and my sister are experienced travelers. And, I mean, shout out to them, too. We stood there an hour uh, while everybody and other people were at that Delta counter as well, you know, trying to get their flight straightened out as well. Uh, so we finally decided that the best thing to do would be to go to Venice. You know, just Venice was our second stop on our, on our journey. Uh, and we just figured out that the best thing to do would be to take the plane to JFK, JFK to Venice and just kind of skip Milan altogether. The reason that we wanted to go to Milan in the first place was to see the Last Supper. Um, you know, Da Vinci's Last Supper. And I uh, have to admit, you know, it's kind of a little bit disappointed, but I really wanted to see a Da Vinci. <laughs> um, but, you know, it all turned out in the end. Hang on, y'all. I'm, I'm going to draw this for just a minute. Okay, I have this drawed except for that weird spot right in the middle that <laughs> won't draw. But we'll just work around that. Um, so I was telling you about the trip and uh, standing at the Delta counter, and we were, um, you know, I was a little bit dismayed. But then, here's what happened. I, um, I looked down in the floor, and there was a penny. And when I find pennies, I always think that it's like a little blessing. So I, I got very peaceful and very calm about it, and... I mean, not that I was upset. That's not what I mean at all. And not that my my um, my family was upset either. You know, stuff happens, and, and you can't really help it. Um, but we were really wanting to see that Da Vinci. We were really wanting to see The Last Supper. Anyway, okay. The next part of this little of this little postcard is I will. I'm going to use some homemade Mod Podge to stick down. A little bit of ephemera that I picked up and this is the layers now I use the blue green shade and in case you didn't see that it is a cobalt um, hold on a second a cobalt turquoise hue and it's a heavy body um, purist pigment paint my friend Joy uh, sent this to me and she sent it to me y'all two years ago and it is still creamy and good so obviously a great quality paint I um, so I'm using a little bit of homemade Mod Podge to stick down some images I thought I might use that big brush but I don't think I will and this is the layers part of the challenge so anyway, we did not get to take off, you know, like, like we wanted to, and our trip was delayed. But we got to go to, uh, <laughs> to the um, Sky Club, the Delta Sky Club. And, oh my goodness, that was such a fun experience because by the time we got there, you know, we were kind of stressed out from standing at the counter for an hour and trying to figure out exactly what we were going to do and how we were going to do it and where we were going to land that night. And that was just a lot of fun. If, if um, I'm, I'm, I would never have that experience because I'm not an experienced traveler, but, you know, it was all kinds of fun to... Uh, to go up there and, and, you know, you could have a glass of wine. I'm not a big drinker, but at that point, you know, a glass of wine sure was nice. And so we had a glass of wine. We had dinner. We could um, recharge our devices. Um, it, was, it was just very um, comforting and soothing. Uh, we got on the plane. You know, we're going to Venice now. We're not going to Milan. My first transatlantic flight. And... <laughs> it was it was really nice. I uh, you know they keep you very well fed and watered <laughs> on a transatlantic flight. I guess because it's just so long. Um, but I um, we slept um, because you know I had been told by my sister that. You definitely, you, you have to stay up when you get there so you don't get jet lagged. And um, so we slept on the plane 
and even that went really well. They give you, it's a very pampered experience. They give you a sleeping mask and earplugs and, you know, like I said, they, uh, they, I think I'm going to use this as a focal image for this, this particular card. It is just, um, you know, it was kind of a pampering experience. And we, I did, y'all, I was really proud of myself. I managed to stay awake um, all that next day as we landed in Venice. And we didn't do a whole lot. We just kind of hung out, uh, checked into our hotel. Now, the hotel was kind of funny. It was on, on one of the canals. It's called the Diodo Palace, and it was a former palace. So it was quite beautiful and elegant. It was a four-star hotel. But let me tell you, they, um, they didn't have any AC. And when we got to Venice, it was like 84 degrees. <laughs> I, that's real common in Europe uh, or in Italy or whatever because we, we did not have AC. Well, you, we didn't have AC at all at the Hotel Diodo, four-star hotel no AC, which really does not bother me at all. I, um, I am cool with no AC. I like open windows and my little sleeping cot was right beside an open window. It was just very, um, ah, to me, I just love things like that. Um, so to me, it worked out, but you know, Everybody else required, you know, everybody likes AC. I grew up without it, so I don't really think too much about it if if I don't have it. Anyway, oh, and, um, you know, you don't have a shower curtain and you don't have washcloths. I think I told you guys about that yesterday, which I thought was a little bit strange, but okie dokie. <laughs> we'll, we'll roll with it. Um, but... Venice, I gotta tell you, was my favorite spot. Really, 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 really loved Venice. Okay, guys, I have just layered on with no real rhyme or reason some papers on my recycled postcard. And I'm gonna finish up right here. And I think that's good. I like the way that's looking. And I am going to draw this, and then I'll be right back. All right, friends, I have this drawed now, and I'm trimming. Um, I wasn't very fussed about where I was placing things here, so I'm just going to trim trim this off. I think it's kind of fun, you know, uh, to just kind of hodgepodge it down and see what happens when you trim it up. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to add even more layers to this little postcard. And I am using a Tim Holtz, um, um, a Tim Holtz stencil and it's molding paste. The first one that I did, I used white molding paste. So you can see what that one looked like. And then for this one, I had a little bit of a coral color. Um, in Venice, everything is old, and everything is brick, and everything is crackling and beautifully, beautifully crackling, you know, super old place. Uh, Venice was found in, in 811. Uh, so I'm squeezing out a little bit of molding paste. Now, I did find a Georgia clay color, and I'm going to see if that, I mean, it might be too dark for my piece, but I'm also not using a whole lot of um, molding paste or stencil. I, I just really do love molding paste and I just wanted to use a tiny bit of it um, on this piece. I thought it like highlighted the piece kind of in a nice way. Okay, so um, I've got my little handy dandy credit card here. I'm going to just put a tiny, tiny bit of this Georgia Red clay into my molding paste. And I think that looks pretty good. I don't want it to be pink. So I'm trying to, all right, I think that's good. I like that, I like that. 
Um, I thought I might use this paintbrush to do this with, but I tried that yesterday and it did not work, work out so well at all. So let's scrape up a little bit of molding paste. And if you don't have molding paste, uh, Jenny Belly has a great tutorial about DIY molding paste. You know, you can make it out of baking soda, I think is what she used. Uh, and it turned out really, really, really great. I think um, for this one, I'm going to do just a little bit of crackle right here in the corner. That'll be pretty. I'm hoping that's not too pink. I don't think it's too pink. And then I'll turn the postcard this way and do some more brick here. Oh, Venice is so pretty. You know, plaster, brick, um, ancient, beautiful, everything about it. Oh, okay, now I'll, on this one I'll just do a wee bit of crackle. Love this stencil. I think Art Angel gave me this stencil. It is so neat. Love it. Alright. We are good to go with that. Um, I scraped that off, but I forgot that I was, um, I did this as well, too. The other two that I did, and that kind of worked out really well, too. This kind of went, went over it like that. And that worked out. Okay. All right, I like the way that's looking. I am really uncertain about using that image because I feel like it's covering up the rest of the the landscape that I'm doing there. Hmm. So I don't think I'll do that. I think what I'll do is step away and draw this and then we'll go ahead and put the word Venice on it somewhere. Okay, everything is dried now. Um, I am at the ink part of my challenge. I clipped the word Venice from one of the magazines that I brought back with me, and I'm just going to use a little bit of Distress Ink. And this will be my ink element to, to go around the, uh, the word Venice that I already I attached it on a piece of cardboard that I gleaned from the original postcard that I was working with. I just think it made it kind of stand out a little bit better. Um, I think I'll put it over here. Put it over here. And then I'm just going to do a tiny bit of white pen work. I liked the way that, um, that the white pen turned out when I did it on the other postcards. It kind of just, it enhanced the imagery without, um, so you can see what I did here. It kind of highlighted some of the imagery, but it did not, um, it wasn't a huge highlight. You know what I mean? I mean, it was really super subtle. Um, so I'm going to grab my white pen, which is another part of the challenge, and I know that I mentioned this, but Leanne, this is a Leanne challenge here. <laughs> this is like all of her favorite things. Um, so we are going to just kind of highlight a few things on here, and I'll, sh I'll tell you what they are as we highlight. Um, we'll start at the top. This is um, part of a spire from St. Mark's Cathedral. I'm sorry, Basilica. This is the actual Basilica on St. Mark's Square. It is extraordinary. Um, you know, Renaissance art at its highest. Um, this is the water. I love, love, love the way that you could see the windows light up in people's houses. 
who lived along the canal, and then you could see that reflection in the water. I just thought that was absolutely exceptional. Water imagery in Venice is magical. That's the only word that I know to describe it. I'm going to highlight these balconies up here. Lots and lots of balconies in Venice. Very, very, very pretty. And the balconies all have like flowers and herbs and stuff growing on them. So beautiful. Um, this is again part of St. Mark's Basilica right here. This is the outside. And it's on St. Mark's Square. Uh, from St. Mark's Square, you can see this church, but I don't remember what that church is. Um, you know, let's highlight just one more thing. And this will be fun because it is the, the gondola ride. And we did take a gondola ride. Some gondola rides have music. So it'll be a guy singing and an accordion player. It is crazy remarkable. Um, so there we go, you guys, a little um, recycled postcard using some things from Venice. I got a little messy right here, so I'm going to rub that off. Uh, with the Take 5 Art Challenge for April, blue-green shade, ink layers, white pen, and recycled, check out the hashtag Take 5 Art Challenge, and do go visit Leanne over at her Creatively Free to Be Me page at YouTube, channel at YouTube. She is fantastic. All right, you guys, and I'll put a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.